Children of killers. So nobody asked to be born. Especially not be born to a serial killer. Carrie Rawson is the daughter of Dennis Rader, better known as the BTK killer. Dennis got away with his crimes for more than 30 years. But then he got himself caught. He was writing back and forth with the police through the newspapers. See, Dennis got cocky and arrogant. He was communicating with police through local newspapers. In his letters to police, Rader asked if his writings, if put on a floppy disk, could be traced or not. The police answered the question in a newspaper ad posted in the Wichita Eagle saying it would be safe to use the disk. On February 16, 2005, Dennis sent in a purple floppy disk. Also enclosed were a letter, a gold-colored necklace with a large medallion, and a photocopy of the cover, Rules of Prey. A 1989 novel by John Sanford about a serial killer. But police found metadata embedded in a deleted Microsoft Word document that was unknown to Raider stored on the floppy disk. The metadata contained the words Christ Lutheran Church, and the document was last modified by Dennis. So an internet search determined Dennis Rader was president of the church council. Dennis has a long list of victims, two who are children, and I believe there are many more he never confessed to. One victim was as young as nine years old. The BTK killer case was so fascinating because he got away with it for over 30 years. Dennis was even teasing and taunting the FBI and local police departments. Carrie says she remembered the day she got the call that her dad had been arrested. That was when her whole life was ripped apart. A lot of people judge Carrie and her mother, saying they had to have known something, they had to have seen a red flag. But what y'all don't realize is, men like Dennis are sociopaths. They are good at living a double life. They know how to keep the two lifestyles separate. Go out, unalive people, come home, be a father, the deacon at church, the boy scout leader, a father, a husband, a neighbor, a friend. These men are master manipulators. Men like Dennis can keep up with every single lie they tell their family. But when men like Dennis kill, not only do they destroy the victim and their family, they're destroying their own family too. When Dennis was caught, Carrie, her sibling, and her mother had their lives turned upside down. They lost everything, and Dennis did not care. He had no remorse. He actually told people that his family members were just more pawns in his game. Pawns that he was using to get what he wanted. When he said that, that really hurt Carrie. She ended up cutting him out of her life. Dennis has no remorse for any of the crimes he committed. But we also have to be understanding to his children. Because they did not know him as the BTK killer, they knew him as dad. His wife and children are victims of his crimes too. I read Carrie's book and I really enjoyed it. Carrie is a very strong woman. She has overcome one of the worst things someone could go through. Being born to a monster does not automatically make that child a monster too. Carrie tells a story about how when she was a little girl, a woman down the street was unalived, and she was so afraid as a little girl that someone would break into her house and unalive her family that she began to have night terrors. The whole time she didn't know that killer was her father. When she found this out as an adult, that was a lot for her to process. If you want to learn more about Carrie Rawson, go on Amazon. Her book is called A Serial Killer's Daughter, My Story of Faith, Love, and Overcoming. It is a great read.